Was it worth this moment, Phoenix? This is the view from the bedroom at the RV park in Tucson and out this window is the view of the mountains. At this point we've been full-time in our ATC toy hauler for 11 days. Ten of those days were spent traveling from New Hampshire to a pit stop in Alabama and finally we arrived in Arizona yesterday and spent the night at this RV park in Tucson. We are planning to spend the next few days here regrouping and crossing some things off of our to-do list and then we're heading out on another trip to get solar installed. One thing I did not have a chance to fully do before we left was unpack all of my clothes. So I'm working on that now and doing some organizing. As you can see, David's take up most of the closet. There are more clothes under the bed, but that can wait, right Phoenix? This is the bag my camp chair came in. I also use it to lug my laundry across the RV park. We just got our first door ding. David is getting ready to go out to buy a longer sewer hose because ours does not reach. Here's an example of one of my RV meals. I'm just throwing together whatever we have here. Today it's black beans, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, and some Celtic sea salt, which I have here in a random spice container because we buy this salt by the pound. I'll add some nutritional yeast and a little bit of salsa. We have the patio open for the first time since we were in Alabama, and I can't tell who is enjoying themselves more, me or Phoenix. P has already spotted some wildlife. Oh, I see a bunny rabbit. Like clockwork, he sits and he waits for me to serve him some water. Okay, here's your little bowl. Would you like some spring water, sir? This jug is pretty full, so let's see if I can hold the camera with one hand and pour with the other. He prefers to drink from the stream, but that's not working out well today. One of the reasons we chose to stay here is access to hiking trails. This is all private and it connects to public trails. There are literally tens of thousands of acres to explore, so we're going to see how much ground we can cover while we're here. I have to document this because David just said he wants to find a tarantula and pick it up. This is the creosote bush, not to be confused with that chimney stuff. This is what gives the desert that distinct smell after it rains, and it's one of my favorite scents in the whole world. During our hike, we stumbled across this interesting setup and we were so confused, but when we got a closer look, we realized it was a memorial for someone's pet. Oh, poor Scooter. Phoenix is so happy to have a break from driving. The trip was actually exhausting for all of us, but apparently not that exhausting for P because she misses being in the truck so much. So this is becoming a daily thing. Since David is going to be outside figuring out where he's going to mount the new step we picked up in Alabama, she'll be so happy to be able to keep a closer eye on him. She is his little shadow. This morning, Phoenix and I are hanging out, and I noticed something very strange. 
We adopted Phoenix in 2014. It's now the end of 2021, and I'm just noticing this. Do you see it on his nose? It's a heart. I swear it was not there before. Where did this come from? The top layer of the emergency exit sticker peeled off and the adhesive is still there. So I'm going to show you how I remove that in a non-toxic way. I'm super sensitive to chemicals and this is what I've been using for the last decade or so. It melts the adhesive right off. It's super easy and it smells good. The window is also dirty from travel, so I'm going to finish it off with some vinegar to make it shine. Phoenix is not a huge fan of his harness, but we've been practicing for seven years and I will continue to do so. He is making improvements. RV park tomorrow, but I called and left a message asking if we could stay until Saturday. We are now headed to Costco and Whole Foods for groceries. So this is Costco on a Monday morning at 11.18 a.m. The parking lot is completely full. The line for gas is crazy. We ended up chatting with a customer inside of Costco and he said that he has never seen this Costco so busy outside of Christmas time. And it's only mid-November. On the way home from all of our shopping, we ended up passing some BLM land. This is near the corner of Ajo Highway and South San Joaquin Road. I think this free camping spot is popular because it's so close to amenities. David was hoping to get the step installed sooner, but he needed to go out and find some spacers and some bolts. So after prepping this step that we had custom built and picked up in Alabama, he finally got it installed. Someone had commented asking if I could show what the installation looks like underneath. So here you go. If you need us to crawl underneath and show some more, just let me know. Also, I will post the link to where we ordered this in the description below. One of the first things I noticed since arriving in Tucson is all of the heart-shaped cactus pads. During the two years we lived in Phoenix, I never saw one. And now I see new ones every day. On this morning, we're starting our day with another hike and exploring new trails. One thing that David has been wanting to do for a while is wash the toy hauler, but RV parks have rules, so we wanted to feel things out and eventually we asked management who approved this. The reason why they were okay with this is because David is using a bucket and not a hose. They're obviously concerned about water usage. So far, the cats have found that Tucson is not just great for scoping out bunnies, but also for bird watching. 
although P prefers to do that in the truck. David and I are really enjoying our time in Tucson as well. Aside from enjoying nature with hiking trail access, being in an adult-only park adds to the peacefulness. I know David would enjoy being stationary here all winter. I wouldn't mind either, but I'm really looking forward to exploring and being in the middle of nowhere. Once we get solar installed, we can at least have the flexibility to enjoy the benefits of both worlds. Are you still watching this video? If you are, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Tucson or not. And if you have, what's your favorite part? Is he over there? We're out of here. <laughs> I'm going for solar. <laughs>